Hi kids, I have a carnival in my neighborhood and I have decided to set up a milkshake stall. But which flavor milkshakes should I make? Let me do a quick survey and ask people what they would like. I'm back and here's what I have gathered. <sighs> this is a lot of information and I can't draw any meaningful conclusions from this. This is what we call raw data. Let's organize it into a table. We'll create one column for flavors and list the different flavors from the data in it. The distinct flavors that I can see in my list are mango, blueberry, chocolate, butterscotch, strawberry, hazelnut, and banana. To keep a record of the count of each flavor, we will add one more column for tally marks. Tally marks are a representation of the data in the form of vertical lines. We put one vertical line for each of the four counts and a diagonal line for the fifth count. Now, I'm going to read the information I collected in my survey. Each time we see a flavor, we will strike it from our book and add a standing line or a mark next to the flavor in our table. Let's go. The first response that has been recorded is mango. So let's place a mark as a count for mango and strike it from my book to be sure that I don't miss anything. Next is strawberry. So we place a line next to strawberry flavor. We do the same for butterscotch. Now we have strawberry again. What should we do when the flavor appears again? We will continue to add the same standing line to represent the count. Continuing in this method, I have completed the entire table. Remember, we add a diagonal line on top of the four standing lines to imply the fifth count of a particular category. Making sets of five makes counting quicker and easier. Now that we've organized our data, let's find out the frequency of each observation. Frequency is the number of times an observation appears. So we add another column and name it frequency. To fill this column, count the number of tally marks for each observation and write its number. Since there are four tally marks for mango, so four people prefer mango. Similarly, four people prefer blueberry. How many people prefer chocolate flavor? Remember, we have grouped our tally marks in sets of five. So five plus two people, which is seven people, prefer chocolate flavor. Using the same method, we will complete the rest of the table. There. This is called a frequency distribution table. Based on this table, we can say that the highest frequency is for strawberry, which is 12. Therefore, strawberry is the most liked flavor. The second and the third highest frequency is for butterscotch and chocolate, which are at 9 and 7 respectively. So, these are the three most popular milkshake flavors. Well, I've got to go to the grocers now to buy all the ingredients. See you next time.